We have a follow-up now to the dramatic police body cam video of a Bratnall officer nearly hit by a suspected drunk driver. A Euclid woman has now been charged. Lena Lantesos tells us what we're learning tonight about the incident and the dangers first responders face every day. Sunday around 1.30 in the morning, I-90 at East 105th Street, a view from police body cameras as officers respond to a two-car rollover crash. Suddenly, Sergeant Ryan Duran spots a car coming at them at full speed, runs to the side of the road, and just in time. The car plows into his cruiser, then crashes into a pickup, causing that truck to roll over. Stay in your car. Police Stay say the car. driver of the car, 23-year-old Anita Locke of Euclid, okay? blamed right, officers right. for parking on the highway. Police say she was drunk, nearly Stop. twice the legal limit. Can't emphasize enough. There, there's nothing, nothing more important than another person's life. So just slow down, pay attention. It was almost a tragic deja vu for first responders, including Cleveland firefighters at the scene near the same spot where they lost their colleague, firefighter Johnny Tetrick, who was hit and killed by an accused drunk driver last month. Just how dangerous the highway can be, dangerous um, the profession can be. And unfortunately, it is a stark reminder of that danger. So far this year, 46 first responders have been killed in the U.S. after being struck by a vehicle, according to data from the Emergency Responder Safety Institute. A sobering statistic that doesn't even include the near misses. Fortunately, no officers were injured in the latest incidents and no one else was seriously hurt. But that three mile stretch of I-90 in Bratnall is notoriously nicknamed the Bermuda Triangle by police, where drivers have hit officers seven times since 2019. At least five of those drivers were impaired, Russ. Wow. Lena Lai, thank you so much. Appreciate it.